What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Blaze. So we're going back to the old holding the phone method because uh, everything that I own for filming broke, except for this ring light that's going to keep getting in my eye, and I apologize, but everything's broke, so we're going back to the basics. It's easy. I forgot how hard it is to hold a phone. So it's been a minute since we talked, and the reason for that is that I got a new job, and the job is pretty demanding. I work like 10 hours a day, um, and it's super fun, super nice, super cool people. Um, it's a marketing firm in the city. Uh, it's, it's pretty posh. I wear a suit every day. I'm gonna post some pictures of that. It's gonna be awesome. And so today's video is actually about that company. The company overall is very cool and very nice, but it's very, um, new age jock. There's a lot of high-fiving that goes around, and when I say a lot of high-fiving, I mean literally every person in the company has high-fived me at some point for, for just innocuous things. It's really, to the point of it being a little bit excessive, I've actually had to turn down high-fives because I'm like, I didn't... I didn't earn this. I didn't earn this high five. Please don't. They like high five me for doing something wrong. And I'm like, I don't want the high five. Just tell me I did it wrong and move on. There's a gong in the office that they hit when they reach sales goals. Um, uh, uh, they play music all the time. Every surface is a whiteboard. It's a, it's a very interesting place to work. And I've been having a great time. Honestly, just some of the best two weeks of my life. There is one thing though that has been bothering me about the company for the last two weeks, literally, literally since I started the company because it's something they told me on the first day um, and it's been bugging me. So it being a marketing company, there's a sales pitch that you have to learn. And in learning the sales pitch, uh, one of the questions that they ask in the sales pitch is if the person that you're talking to is over 18 because it's required for the deal that we're trying to give. And so we ask the person if they're over 18 and the point of the question is kind of to undercut it with a little bit of a joke. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be both halves right now. I'm gonna put the phone down, I'm gonna be both halves. I'm gonna have to crouch for a second to make this work, but hear me out. Hi, sir. Just a quick question for you. Are you over 18? Why, thank you for asking. Yes, I am. <laughs> Only on the weekends, am I right? And that's it. That's the whole joke. Now, if you're confused by that joke, you're probably American because the company is actually British. And this joke does actually work in Britain because in Britain, uh, the drinking age is 18. And it makes sense that somebody would want to be 18 on the weekend. That makes sense. The thing is, we're talking to people on the street. And people on the street don't know that the company is British and it being New York City, they are also distinctly not British themselves. Which means that we are telling a joke that makes no sense at all to people on the street, and they're laughing at it. I can't stress, I've heard this joke told maybe a hundred times at this point after two weeks, and every single person on the street has laughed like a maniac at this joke. And it's driving me bananas. I refuse to tell the joke because I, I respect comedy. And I think that comedy should be something that is earned and laughter should be earned. It's not something that you can just bottle and put into a script and, and just say the same joke a million times and hope that everyone laughs because there's something special about it. But it works every time because people are uncomfortable and they don't understand it and they think because it's told in the cadence of a joke, they have to laugh. And it's, it's actually mind boggling. There's not really like much more to talk about with this. The whole company is great. Again, no complaints about the whole company, but I refuse. I refuse on principle to make this joke. I have been avoiding this line in the script. I say anything and everything that I can other than only on the weekends after I am told if they are over 18. Because the fact is, the joke isn't funny. It's not a good joke. It doesn't work here. Take it back to Britain. But the upside is it gave me something to make a video about. And I'm glad that I can get back to making a video for you guys because I've missed you guys. And I've missed making videos. And I've missed having stuff to talk about in videos. Because to be honest, I've kind of just been locked in my room for the past, like, two years just doing work for myself. Um, but the problem is that when you're locked in a room, you don't really have a lot of experiences to share. And I'm glad that I have this new experience to share with you guys because... It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. <laughs> if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to be coming out with a lot more videos very soon. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sorry that I always say I'm going to come out with more videos, and then I, I just don't. Um, but thank you for sticking around, and if you do enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping that I will not be holding the phone in the next video. I hope I can afford to buy a stand and maybe put my light in a place where it doesn't reflect totally off my glasses no matter what angle I hold it at. Um, but from my happy place... I'm Zach.
Now go away. No matter where.